mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. You are not just a speck or a nigga or whatever America calls us, man. You are the chosen child of Israel. And with that, and with you, with you being a chosen child, there's much responsibility and much things we must do. We must, in these last days, try to come back to the Lord. No longer, no longer is it time to be selfish and do what, and do what our, our flesh wants to do or our lust wants to do. We've been doing that our whole life and that's why we're dying. It's time to come back to God and come back to the Lord. The Lord, is, the Lord is showing us signs in the last days. All these hurricanes and earthquakes, the economy is down. Everybody thinks the world, the world's about to end and all that. Yeah, we living in the last days, it's true. And it, we would know that if we read the Bible. Now today, we want to get into, today the topic is training up a child. We're going to Boosie and Boosie's daughter arguing online about whatever she said and whatever he said, him making a diss song and everything. Now, if we, if we, the, re the reason why today, every generation says the youth is bad. Oh, I, I never act like this when I was a child. I never act like that when I was in high school. I swear, these youngers are getting worse and worse now. We are getting, we are getting away from God, and that's why our youth is like that. And that's why we don't know how to parent, because we are away from, we are, we are away from God. Our households got different rules, but it should not. It should be the Lord's rules, man. Give me Proverbs, Lord, read that. It's the book of Proverbs. Chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child. It says, train up a child, man. Now you got you got some passive aggressive parents who say, I'm gonna let my child do whatever they want. Whatever they want. No, that's the wrong way, man. Now if your now if your child has something in their favor or something they would like to do, like play basketball, they, they in a video game, into, into computers, yeah. You can let them do that. But that's something that's more important. You gotta train them up. And give them wisdom of the Bible. Right. It will help. It will help your child not get not get pressured to smoke weed. It will help your child not lose her virginity so early, like we did. It will help us dodge a lot of disgusting and wicked things, and help us fight the evil spirit of America, man. Your child gets high at an early age because of America. Your child loses her virginity and his, his virginity early because of the evil sexual influence. Of America, man. Go ahead and read. Train up a child. The Bible yeah. says, "Train up like, a child." Like, read on. In the way he should go. When and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And he will not depart from it, man. The Lord said, "Train up." The Lord said, "While your child is young, you train him up, and when they get older, he's not going to forget." Just like anything you told your child when they were young. And now they're older, they always, they always bring up later on in their 20s and 30s and 40s. Uh, my mother always said this. My father always told me this. My grandmother told me this. My grandfather told me this. Now some of them lessons were good lessons, man. Some of them lessons our grandmothers and aunts taught us how to cook and how to dodge trouble. Other lessons were bad. You got some women that teach young girls how to take advantage of men. And them young girls end up just destroying themselves mentally or physically. It's an evil lesson, man. You got some men who teach young boys how to use young ladies like tools, like sexual tools. That's an evil lesson, man. The Bible said, the, listen, the woman is not just a tool. Yeah, you lay down with a woman, but she's not a sexual tool. But you got some men who will teach women, I mean, teach young men, oh, you're a young player. This and that. Nah, that's wrong. All we're doing is just destroying, our, is destroying ourselves. Read on. Read from the top again. Oh God, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, 
he will not depart from it. And when he is old, he will not depart from it, man. That was that's what's gonna keep keep our generation whole and keep and keep the black community all the way right. You got today where though the elders are complaining, the senior, the black senior citizens from 50 years old, I mean from 60 years old all, all the way up, is saying that nobody's taking care of them. They're throwing their grandmother and their grandfather in the um, in the senior home. We're not taking care of our, our elders anymore. It's because we lost our way, man. We have to train. We have to, You have to train our child up. Now, when a child is trained to love and love his mother and his father, when that child is older, and this man late twenties, early thirties, he's gonna take care of his mother and his father, his grandmother and grandfather. But if you ain't teach him that way, man, if you wait, if you raise him up harshly, that young boy, young girl, and young daughter can raise up, can be raised up to hate you, to hate their mother, to hate their father, hate their auntie, hate their uncle, man. That's why we have the Bible to make sure we parent and raising up our kids the right way. Give me um. Because some of us, even though we went through rough times, we say, oh, my daughter should go through that. My father should go through that. No. Certain things, yes. Certain hard labors, yeah. Our child should go up. It'll, it'll give our child some character on how to work and how to do labor and how to, and how to you know, take care of their house and take care of themselves. Other lessons we should not pass on to our children, man. We should not. If you were, if you were a young lady... If you was touched or molested, don't let your daughter get molested, man. And if your daughter comes up to you and says that she was touched, don't be quiet like we usually do. Say, speak up and say something. And let that person go to jail and be dealt with. Let that person lose their life if that's what the court says, if that's what the judge says. We got to learn how to raise ourselves according to the Bible. That's, that's what we're missing. Straight up and down. Give me Ephesians chapter 6 and 4. We straight up, we straight up and down. We lose, we lose in our families. We don't, we don't come together, eat dinner like how we used to. We don't call each other like we used to, and it's because we don't find family important anymore. Of course, we have our own lives, we have our own children now, but family is everything, man. But more over that, people who are following the Lord is more important than that. So if you find somebody in the UPK who's following the Lord. That's your new family, just like what Christ said. You go ahead and read. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 4. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. It says, Father, don't provoke, don't, do not provoke your children to wrath. Now, what does that mean? Now, you are supposed to discipline your child and punish your child. But don't take the punishment too far to where it's your child remembers that Remember what, remember what you did with them, the harsh thing you did to them, and now when they grow old, it's their turn for revenge. Because that's what some kids is doing now. Oh no, I remember when I was a child, you did this, you did that, you were too rough. Now they want to get revenge in your old age. That's not what we should do to each other. And if you a child, you got to learn forgiveness, man, and understand those times. Maybe your father or your mother was rough during that time because of the era they were living in. And you gotta realize whatever you lived in and realize it was rough times that it was rough times then. And if your father or your mother have changed, or you have a conversation with them and then their mind changed, then you forgive your father and your mother. You, and you, you forgive them, man. And you patch up that and you pass that relationship up. Not continue hatred and continue to have continue to have a judge, I mean a, a grudge against your grandfather and grandmother, man. That's why we're failing. The Bible says, the Bible says, bring your children up on, on, under, the, under the law, man. And that's what we're missing. And that's what we're missing. If you're in a household, if, if you're in a household, and black woman, if you're in a household, and you're talking, you talking trash to your husband, and mistreating your husband, and talking any kind of way, you think your little daughter not, not going to grow up, and then talk trash to her baby father, and not, and not have a husband, and, and run away her husband? I've seen that happen in my own household. I've been a young boy, Ray. I've been a young boy growing up in a, woman, in a household with six women and one man. One man take care of the whole household. He got five daughters and one wife. Six women, one man. Now the daughters respected him at a time because he was taking care of everything. Now the wife did not. And now those young girls in their 20s and 30s, none of them five daughters are married. Can you believe that? None of them are married. You know why? Because they see what their mother did. Their mother led the example. That's why our actions are very important. 
to, uh, everything we do in front of our children is important. We gotta watch ourselves. We gotta watch ourselves, man. And if you need to have a conversation with your wife or your husband, it's privately behind closed doors. And y'all fix it. Because your children are gonna see it and, gonna, and they're gonna repeat the same thing. How in the world you, how in the world you have five daughters and none of them married? It's because of the way they were raised. Read it again. Father God, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 4. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nature of admonition of the Lord. Right. Everything is of the Lord, man. Everything. Everything. Let's, 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 lead, let's not lead into our own understanding. Open up the Bible and see what it says about how we should, how we should raise ourselves up. What, should, what, what, what we should eat. How we should treat ourselves. What should, what, what should, what should we wear? Because now you're, now you're allowing your son. You're too scared now. Today's parents are too scared now. You you scared to tell your son he can't wear no fingernail polish. you scared to tell him he can't play with doll babies. He can't wear a dress. Because of what the white man said. Damn him. He's the devil, man. He wants, your, he wants your household to be destroyed. You tell your son. You know what you tell your son? Hey, give me the scripture. When, it, when, the Lord tell, when the Lord tells us when, when, what, she, what a man should wear, what a woman should wear. That's what you should do. You should do. Lean back to the Bible, man. Today, today we're too scared. Today you got your daughter. She's 12 years old, 13 years old, and she dressed like a prostitute. She dressed like a straight up stripper. And if you're a mother, you, and some of your mothers not making it no, no better, if you dress in the same way with her, man, you, you're making it worse. You're going to continue a, continue a generation of hold, of holding. Today's topic is raising our household un, unto the Lord, not the way that we want to do. Not because you was a hoe, now your daughter's a hoe. Not because you was a lesbian, not because I'm a gay man, now my, my son's a gay man. Nah. That's destroying the family. Straight up destroying the family, man. We're going to raise our children up the right way. So our family can, so our family can continue, man. You got it? Go in and read. You tell your son this and your daughter this. America, let your son and your daughter have, they, they're, they're now they're, trans, they're transgender, I mean, sorry, they're gender fluid. Your son could be a girl, your daughter could be a boy. It don't matter no more. They're confused. Hell no. The Lord don't change. America will continue to change because it's an evil nation. But the Lord is the same every day, man. Go in and read. You tell your daughters this, man. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. God said if you're a woman, you ain't to wear no, you ain't, you're not to wear men's clothing, man. If you are a woman, you are not to wear men's clothing. It ain't no being a and being a dom. All that is unclean unto God and wrong and abomination, man. Read on. Oh God. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It said, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now today you gotta be careful with all the new designers, with a, with uh with a Mary, Casablanca, Balenciaga and all that. They messing around and making men's clothes that looks like women's clothes. Now that's what you gotta be careful of, man. Man, you gotta watch your spirit and watch and watch what they what, watch what they try to promote to us and our children, and make sure we're not wearing any woman no woman's clothing either, because the Lord said not to do it, and that's how we gotta train our children up and change our and train and train up our household, man. And that and that that would that would help us dodge a lot of arguments, a lot of trouble, a lot of fight in our household. Lord, what, what Lord Boosie and his daughter went through went went through this week was disgusting, man. Lil Boosie, Lil Boosie's daughter and his baby mother dissing Lil Boosie. Then Lil Boosie, Lil Boosie come back and make a song dissing his baby mother and tell the daughter that she out of her, that she's out of the will. That she's out of the will, man. What we gotta understand is, even if you have, even if you're a millionaire or a billionaire, most millionaire, billionaire children are spoiled and they hate their, they, they hate their, you know why they hate their children? Because their father gave them everything they wanted. Don't that sound strange? That sounds strange, don't it? 
You would think if, a per if you gave a person everything they wanted in the world, you would love them. Just ask a person to have done that. A person that gave his wife everything she wanted, that wife ended up disrespecting him. A person that gave his daughter and his son everything they wanted, what happened? They end up hating them. You know why? Because that's not what they need. A person don't need every damn thing that, to, that, that, that their heart desire. You know why? Because it's going to be something new every damn time. You're going to want this and want that, then you're going to want this and want that. What we need is God's laws. What do we need, Lord? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. It's an abomination, man. Don't let your son, don't let your son be influenced by Lil Yachty and wear and wear it and paint his fingernails. And be like Drake. Drake is Drake is older than Lil Yachty, but now Drake feels old. So now Drake is hanging out with a younger man, Lil Yachty. Now Drake paint his nails too. The Lord said, don't do it. Do not wear a woman's garment. Don't paint your nails. Don't put no lipstick on and all that. Leave that to a woman. It's for a woman that look good. Man, listen, black man, black, Hispanic man, you don't look good with makeup on. You look disgusting, man. You look like a straight up an abomination. Give me Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Ephesians 6 and 1. All these, all, all these things, man, we are letting America tear up our family. And that's their, that's, that's their goal. Their goal is to do that. The goal is to do that, to make, to make, to make us poor, to live and put us in projects, and then tell our woman, hey listen, we're going to give you tannin, we're going to give you food stamps, but you don't need a man, hey, listen, if, you, if we give you this, you cannot have a man. You cannot have a man if you want to get food stamps and tannin. That's how they, that's another, that's another way how they try to break up the black family. Go ahead and read. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Read it again. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. No, I thought it was about me. I thought it was about my, my father didn't take care of me, so I, so I ain't gonna take care of him. Oh, my father was in my life for my first 10 years, so now he came around. I don't want him no more. I don't got no father no more. Now Boosie's daughter disrespecting him. And Boosie's daughter is calling Boosie nothing but a sperm donor. Like many of us do. Many, how many daughters, how many, how many mothers, disgusting mothers, teach their, teach their daughters to be disgusting like them and call their father nothing but a sperm donor? How disgusting is that, man? You are against the Lord when you're doing that. What the Bible say? Children, obey your parents. Obey who? Your parents. Obey who? Your parents. In the Lord. For this is right. Now you obey your parents in the Lord. Now if your parents trying to tell you how to how to do crime, no, don't, don't, don't obey that. That's what the Bible clearly says. Obey your parents in the Lord. With, with, with means what? Within the law. If your parents trying to trying to teach you how to sell drugs or do anything illegal, no, that's against the Lord. Don't do it. But if your parents are trying to teach you discipline and trying to help raise you up to be a better man and a better woman later on in your age, then you should obey it, man. Right. You should listen. Not, not, you get, not you get 20 and 30 and 40. Now you say, I'm grown now. I don't have to listen to you. I'm grown now. That's how, you just, that's how, that's how the family is destroyed, man. That's how, that's how the black community is destroyed. Because that energy get passed on from son to son and from daughter to daughter. Evil, bad, bad, bad habits, bad energy is being passed on to the black community. Why? Because we stepped away from God. And I know you. And I know God. I know you thought God was in that church, but it's not. The church don't teach us anything, anything about family. The church don't teach us anything about following God. We need to get going. Children. Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, 
Right, man. Honor your father and your mother. Obey them, man. Obey your father and your mother. That's what the Bible says. Give me Proverbs chapter 29, verse 15. Give me 29 and 15, man. And black man, black woman, don't be afraid to don't be afraid to discipline your child and, and, and punish your child if they're wrong. And teach them a lesson. When they do something wrong, you correct them. They don't have they don't have to be a punishment or a harsh punishment every time. But you gotta what we have to do is start saying something to our children. Today, 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 if we, we got youth running around doing whatever they want to do, committing crime, it's our fault as leaders, black man and black woman. You have to you have to stop trying to take authority from that black man as a father and let him be a father, man. So we can raise these children. Because you can't do it by yourself. You gonna try you can try to do your best as a mother, but that father is needed to raise your children and you as a wife. He raises everything, man. The man is going to raise up the nation. That's why he's important. America wants to destroy and kill the black man. That's why we're two million in prison, man. And that's why the character of a black man and a black father is destroyed and attacked every day. Black women, it's your job to stand up and know who and know how valuable their father is to the community, man, to your house, and to the black nation as a whole. Go ahead. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 15. The rod of reproof give wisdom. The rod of reproof is to give wisdom. Now in the scriptures, it's talking about an actual stick, man. You pop that thing out and it, it's about popping a kid, man. But, but today, today, you, today you, what you do is teach your child the right way, man. And if, they're not, if, they, if your kid is being disobedient, there's punishments. You can tell them, get off the laptop, get off the game. Hold, you can hold it, you can hold that laptop, hold that game for a week or whatever. My son stay on that laptop and he hates when he, when he hates when he cannot play Minecraft. He hates that. Take away Minecraft. Take away whatever they're playing, whatever they're doing until they obedient, until they learn their lesson. And then learn how to let up the lesson or let up the punishment when it's over. Don't hold it too long. Because then you're being abusive. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then you then you're destroying him. He's not gonna learn a lesson. He's not gonna think, okay, I'm punishment, I'm punished. Then it's gonna be over. He's gonna say, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna be punished. And then my my father or my mother is gonna be mean to me all over and just be evil to me my whole life. Nah. You gotta show them the light and the dark. Meaning you gotta show them the light and the dark, man. You gotta show them the good, you gotta, as a father, you gotta show them the good and the bad. The knowledge of good and evil. He got to know, if I'm good, my, everything is good in my house. My father ain't going to say nothing. He got to know. I'm my good, he he got to know the good side of his father and the bad side of his father when he crossed that line. And that's what Adam didn't understand, man. Adam and Eve didn't have to understand. And that, that's why we live in the day we are now. Because we have to understand that if we, if we, cross, if we, if we cross the Lord, if we cross our Father God, then we will be, we will be punished. Then we will live in the hell that we're living in today. We went through slavery. We live in the projects. We strung up on drugs. We fight each other, kill each other. We are on child support because we are not following our God, our Father, man. Go ahead and read. The rod, the rod, and reproof give wisdom. And punishment gives wisdom. If your daughter, if your daughter makes a mistake. They can correct it, they won't do it again, man. Your daughter wears something too revealing. You correct them, and that daughter should know. If she's a good daughter, she'll never make daddy embarrassed. She'll never embarrass her father again. She will cover up that body, not reveal her skin, until she's of age, and her husband will be the only one to see her like that, man. Then she will know. The son, he would know not to mess with certain women, whores. The son would know, okay, I'm only going to mess with women that's white material, not whores, not thotties. It's a lesson, man. And we got to teach our children that. You know why? Because if not that, then we're done. We're done and our children are going to be in jail or they're going to be dead, man. We're
Yeah. Babylon is falling. in the